what you want to do with this bird, first of all, you want to remove uh, gizzards, innards that's in there. They're usually hidden on the inside. The important part now is that you want to prepare the turkey to be roasted. And to prepare the turkey, you want to take your hands in between the breast, bone, and the breast meat, and the skin. And you want to be very careful. You don't want to rupture the skin. And you're going to make a gigantic pocket. And you basically just have your, your hand in there. There's just a little bit of a tissue in between to open up. And you want to break it so that you'll be able to stuff the herbs in it. So here we go. Now, it's ready to go. Now, I do not like to cut my herbs. I like to break them. So I want to break the herbs in like big pieces like so. Sage and parsley. Just want to open my hand. Some chive, big. The only thing I wouldn't put in here is uh, rosemary. Now you're going to add in oil and some pepper that are pre ground. Now mix it up really good. Now comes the important part of getting these herbs under the skin and the breast of the turkey. You saw me do earlier, I, I opened up the packets. Now I just take the herbs and put them right down. And you want to spread them around all over the breast. Just half and half it. And the other side, the same thing. You're going to spread them over around. And the reason you use the oil, the oil has to marinate. Notice I put no salt in there because salt always acts as a dehumidifier. It would make it dry. The tips of the wing you want to just cut off because all they will do is dry out when, when baking it. So I'll toot them and just throw them in the stock. Now, the cavity of the bird, I take some Granny Smith. Not peeled at all, just cut them open in, in the gourds, Granny Smith. Onions, not peeled. And then I take a whole bunch of herbs, same herbs that you put on the top. Stick it in there. Now oregano in here. And now you're ready for most likely the second most important part, and that is how to tie the bird. And that's where a lot of people get confused. The reason for it is if I cook it like that, it come out of the oven like that. It wouldn't look pretty. So what you want to do is you want to take a butcher twine, and you're going to take the bird, start the twine, go through the legs, even part here, and just go across. And I take the entire bird. And you want to take the wings on both sides, put it underneath the, the string. You take the flap of the skin, tie a knot, and the reason for that is, if you don't put this in there, the heat cannot get in there. All right, now it goes in the pan. Salt on the outside. Pepper. And now, good amount of oil. My beehive is ready behind me. I can hear it roar. Let me open it.